Hi boys, I just wanted to do a spelling rules um, clip for you today and it could take a little bit of time so feel free to pause it and come back to it if you need it. So your spelling and grammar um, assessment is next Friday. So I just wanted to go over some of the rules just so you're feeling um, confident with your spelling. So the first one is that um, spelling that we learned this week was that K um, is always followed by a short vowel such as kettle, kitten, key. You know those ones. Okay, in addition to K, K is always on its own when it comes to a short vowel followed by a consonant such as donkey. So a short vowel followed by a consonant, the K is always on his own. In other words, it doesn't have a CK in front of it. Next rule I wanted to go over, boys, is one where we're adding a suffix at the end of a word. So sometimes we have T-I-O-N, I-O-N or S-I-O-N at the end of um, a word. Now the rule is if we have um, if the word ends in T or T-E, such as direct, or migrate, we drop um, the T, the E, and we add I O N. So in direction, we just add I O N, and migrate, we chop off the E, and we add I O N, and we turn it from direct into direction. Okay, the next one that we're going to look at um, a word such as confess. If the word has a double S at the end, all we add is an I-O-N. So another example of that could be um, progression. Okay, so progress turns into just I-O-N. Now the one, um, the S-I-O-N rule, what we do is that we look at words that might end in D-E or just D, and we chop those off and we add S-I-O-N, such as collide turns into, we chop off the D, chop off the E, collision. Okay, okay boys, so another example would be from tense, okay, that we would just chop off the E and write the word tension, just I-O-N, because the S is already there. Okay, the next rule is, I'll just pause that for a second. Okay, boys, the next rule is when we find a double vowel such as E-A, we only put a K on the end, such as speak um, and cloak. So when there are two vowels together in front um, of a K, we just have a K. All right, the next uh, rule that we've been learning about this term is our after a short vowel um, and the word ends in GE such as smudge we need to put a D in front of it so it's DGE so if I was to put it in front it would be smudge another example would be pledge okay another example the next rule that we were looking at um, is the same if there's a short vowel such as hutch so U being the short vowel, we put a T before the CH, hutch and patch. Okay, one of the last rules that we've learnt this term um, is one that lots of um, people get confused about. It's I before um, E except after C. Now, most of the time this rule works, but there are some exceptions. Let's have a look at it. So the first one would be brief. Friend, all I before E, because there's no C. But then if you add a C in, such as ceiling, okay, or receive, we swap them around, the E and the I change. Now there are some bad boys that don't... Um, comply to that rule 
And those words are leisure, uh, weird, protein, caffeine, those kind of words don't um, don't apply. So they've got an EI with no ERC before it. And we're going to go over today, boys, is words ending in LE. If the word ends in LE, we must double the consonant before adding LE, such as pedal. Now, I told my boys, this is not the pedal on the bike. This is to carry small goods and try to sell them from place to place. The other one uh, that applies to this is giggle. Um, you can probably think of lots yourself. Um, cuddle. We're doubling the consonant before adding LE. Okay, good luck. Make sure you're practicing uh, your rules. And hopefully I'll get to do a morphology uh, clip for you as well. Bye.